Hey guys, this is Jack from FPV Academy in partnership with GetFPV.com. Today we're going to have a closer look at the Cobra 2207-2300 kV motors. Now the Cobra 2207 motors are really big compared to the other motors on the market. The one that is mostly flown around is the 2206 and a lot of guys still fly 2204 and 2205. So having a 2207 motor does step up the size of it a little bit more and usually a little bit higher stator allows for some more torque. So this motor will work great on those beefier props. Now overall the general design of the motor is really really good, the tolerances of the magnets are really tight and you can see that the motor is built out of some really high quality materials. Now what I really like about this motor is the visual appearance, so when we have a closer look you'll see that the bell is black and the bottom part is silver, so this will look nice on any quad that you build out there. Also what's really nice is they have included a flanged out 5mm nut, so this just allows you to tighten your prop really tightly, you don't have to worry about it slipping. So the visual appearance is really nice, but let's talk a little bit more about the performance. Now the Mini Quad Test Bench has done some tests on this motor and they found that for the performance it lies exactly in the middle between the ZMX Fusion motors and the T-Motor F60s. So if you are already flying those, just know that this motor ranks right up there. If you aren't familiar with these, let's go a little bit more into details of the exact performance figures. So on average these motors are able to generate anywhere from 1400 to 1700 grams of thrust at full throttle, which is an immense amount. The only really bad thing about this motor is that the total weight comes in at 35 grams, basically matching the T-Motor F60 but well over the several other 2207 motors which come in at about 31 to 33 grams. Now this isn't such a big problem but do take that in consideration when you put these motors on a bolt. Now also the 3mm internal shaft, especially on a motor the size and weight of the 2207 is some cause of concern in the terms of long term durability of both the bearings and the shaft. How much of an issue that becomes will require a lot of flight time abuse and a broader adoption rate to discover. If the rest of the design is handled well then it won't be such a big concern. Now all in all the Cobra 2207-2300 kV is definitely a motor to consider if you are looking for a very high performance motor. As I said Cobra has really stepped up their game so if you have a bad experience with slipping magnets I have not seen these happening with the new motors so these motors should be good to consider again. I'm really excited to see what Cobra will be coming out in the near future because they do have quite an extensive history of creating these motors. Now if you are interested in purchasing this motor it is available at the getfpv.com website. I'll leave a link in the description below if you do want to check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and we'll catch you in the next one.